Welcome back to Broken Bobby's Transformation page. In the late 80s, I became involved with drugs and would eventually become part of that lifestyle of trafficking, addiction, and violence. Over the next 20 years, I would be in and out of jail and prison. If you're thinking about trying something or you're dealing with addiction, your life don't need to go down the same path mine did. I hurt a lot of people, both physically and emotionally. These are my stories of how I transformed my life, and you can too. Let's get Welcome back to the channel. If you are new to the channel, subscribe, smash that like button, drop a comment, share the video, and hit that notification bell so that whenever I drop a new video or I go live, you will be notified. Also, you can become a member of the channel now, and that there will be benefits to that, including uh, early releases of videos and possibly some giveaways. We're looking into that right now. So as you can see by the thumbnail and the title, this is the five worst prisons in California, the five most violent, in my opinion. Now, there are currently 34 mainline, 34 prisons, I should say, in the state of California. There's also 35 conservation camps, which are uh, firefighting crews, basically, fire camps. And one thing I want to stress, I'm going to go over what I think are the five most dangerous, but all anytime you're locked up and in prison, it's dangerous. And to be honest, you know, it, the yard you're on might be the most dangerous yard at the moment. So uh, let's keep that in mind. So uh, at number five on the list, I have Calipatria State Prison. Uh, this is in Calipatria, California, and there are uh, level ones and level fours there. And I hear sometimes they, they'll swap the yards to threes and, you know, they, they do a lot of stuff there. There are approximately 2,300 level four inmates in this prison. And, you know, it, it rocks and rolls there. Like there are a lot of, uh, you know, use of force incidents reported at this prison as well as a lot of uh, physical assaults, as well as, uh, you know, homicides at this prison. So uh, that's number five. And I'm going to put up some articles as we go along uh, just to show you some of the stuff that has been occurring at these places. So at number four, we have Salinas Valley. And that's located in Soledad, California. Uh, it houses approximately 1,900 level four inmates, and all of the ones that are on the list are going to have uh, level four 180s, which basically used to be the shoe kickout yards. Uh, I don't know if they're restricted housing unit kickout yards now or, you know, what they're doing these days, but that's what it was when I was doing time. So Salinas Valley, 1,900 level four inmates. And Salinas Valley is also famous for being home of the Green Wall, which was a correctional officer gang that formed there after a Thanksgiving Day attack that occurred where, uh, you know, a, a lot of the inmates attacked the guards, basically. And the, the guards basically formed their own gang to combat the inmates, I guess you would say, which, you know, I mean, they're supposed to be there to make sure that the inmates are secure and safe, basically. Not to fight with the inmates, not to start gangs and do all of this sort of stuff, but that's what happened there. Now, there were 19 homicides in Salinas Valley in 2022, which is the latest year reported that's available. So, yeah, it, it was rocking and rolling. And it continues to rock and roll. Uh, so uh, now something I want to mention is a lot of like the assaults and stuff, the stabbings and things like that that occur in these prisons, they don't drop press releases for those. They try to, you know, uh, sweep those under the rug the best they can. And 
that, you know, there's constantly assaults and stuff going on in these places. Now, since the end of hostilities agreement, you don't really see the, the big riots and stuff like that anymore, but that doesn't mean that the violence has stopped. For the most part, it's just stopped between the group factions. You know, you will still be removed quickly if you mess up. And, you know, that's what's going on in uh, Salinas Valley. Uh, so let's move on to number three on the list. Number three, I have CSP Sacramento, also known as New Folsom. This is in Repressa, California. And I believe it's in Folsom County. But, uh, you know, 1,500 level four inmates and a lot of activities going on there. I know uh, uh, when a lot of the big homies got kicked out of the shoe, they were sent there along with most of these joints that I'm talking about. And, you know, it uh, just a another on and cracking joint. Uh, so let's move on to number two on the list. Actually, before we get to number two, I want to say, you know, the thing is, over time, things change. Evolution happens, I guess you would say. And to be honest, like when I first got into the criminal world in the mid 80s, the places they talked about were San Quentin and Old Folsom. You know, uh, a lot of places like Corcoran, Pelican Bay, even uh, Delano and Wasco and uh, those places, they didn't even exist yet. Tehachapi was there. That was another place that people talked about. But, you know, in, in those times, like there were, were only a handful of level four yards in the state. So, you know, things change over time. And, uh, you know, drop a comment. Let me know what you think. If, if you think that the list isn't correct or something's out of place, then definitely drop a comment and let me know. Moving on to number two, we have High Desert State Prison in Susanville, California. And this place, everybody that I talk to that's done time, that's been there, says this is the worst place that that they've ever been to, including Pelican Bay. Uh, now, you know, Pelican Bay shoes a little bit different when that was going on, because that was just pure isolation. But as far as like a mainline level four, 180, this place takes the cake, according to most people that I've talked to. Uh, they have about 2,000 level four inmates there, and there were eight homicides in 2022 at high desert you know most people i talk to in some of the youtube channels that i follow you know that they, they all pretty much say the same thing that pretty much every time you get let out to yard at high desert somebody gets stabbed and you know usually it's within the groups you know somebody's being removed and they would lock them down for you know however long, if it were internal, not so long, uh, if it were, um, you know, uh, with warring factions, then, you know, they could be locked down for long periods of time. So, yeah, there's tons of assaults that happen there. And actually, High Desert is known for having the most use of force cases that are reported. And uh, they're supposed to report all of those. So, uh before we get to number one, uh, I, you know, some of the pins that would have been on this list when I were doing time are Pelican Bay and Corcoran. You know, uh, they really had the reputation back then. And, uh, you know, it, they, these were the places that you wanted to go if you wanted to further your criminal career because these were the, the in the shoes in these places these were where the big homies were and this is where you were going to be put up on game basically and hopefully taken under somebody's wing and you know moving up in the ranks you know through going to these places 
so like I said, things change over time and you know, that, that will continue to happen. So if, uh, you know, you think that I've got this wrong, definitely drop a comment and let me know what you think. And, uh, now let's move on to number one on the list. In my opinion, the most dangerous prison in the state of California currently, Kern Valley State Prison in Delano, California. Now, uh, Kern Valley, when I was in North Kern, North Kern is like literally right across the street from, they, they used to call it New Delano, which is Kern Valley. And when we would go out to yard, we could see the place over there. Like it's geographically, it's like a half a mile away. So it's like almost like a sister prison, I guess you would say. Like literally right across the main highway was this new prison. And when I was in North Kern, they were just starting to send busloads of inmates into uh, New Delano or North Kern. And... It was rocking and rolling back then, but, you know, when a new yard is being established, there tends to be a lot of violence because everybody is trying to establish, you know, these are our pull-up bars and our bench or, you know, and if everybody can't come to an agreement, then sometimes it, it goes to war. So somebody had told me uh, one time when I was doing time that, uh, you know, you have to appreciate the space that you have on the prison yard because homies died for that shit, you know? So, uh, I definitely agree. So Kern Valley state prison, 2,500 level four inmates. Uh, there's actives and SNYs here. And, uh, you know, this place is off the hook. It seems like almost every time a new CDCR press release is dropped, it has to do with Kern Valley. And, you know, the, with the, you know, there were 12 homicides in 2022 there, numerous, numerous assaults, uh, riots, all that stuff. Like on the SNY, it's different from what I understand. And they don't have an end to hostilities agreement on that side. So you have these different groups like the, the, well, they used to be known as the Northern Riders. Now they're the Riders, the Two Fivers, and uh, many, many other groups. There's seems like hundreds of gangs that popped up on that side. And, you know, they go to war from time to time. And they stab each other and they do all of that sort of stuff. And, you know, it, it's just constantly something going on in Kern Valley. So at this time... Kern Valley definitely takes the number one spot, in my opinion. Like I said, if you think that I've got this list wrong, and let me run through it again one more time. Number five, Calipatria. Number four, Salinas Valley. Number three, New Folsom. Number two, High Desert. And number one, Kern Valley. Like I said, if, if you think I got it wrong, I got something out of order, or, or I forgot about something on this list, definitely drop a comment and let me know. Uh, you know, family, fitness, and freedom are what help to get me out of this lifestyle and not having to do time anymore, and it can help you as well. Uh, remember, just play the tape all the way through. If, uh, you know, you're thinking about doing something that could land you behind bars, you know, take that into consideration. You know, if somebody's looking funny at you at, at the supermarket Play the tape through. Where could you end up? You know, I don't, I don't know how many people are in prison because they got into a fight and it turned fatal. Good decisions and compounding good decisions. That is what has helped me to start moving ahead in life and it can help you as well. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I will be going live Saturday night sometime, probably between 8 and 11 California time. Just depends on how much stuff I have to do on Saturday before I can get to the live. And uh, I'll be also be dropping some new content as well. So be on the lookout for that. Uh, hope everybody's having a great Friday. And don't look at the mountain. Just start climbing.